Welcome back to our node red tutorial series. In this video, we will be explaining a node red flow that demonstrate how to hide and show elements on the user interface based on the user interaction. Let's dive right in. Here we have a node red flow that consists of several nodes. The flow is focused on a group of nodes called hide show. Let's break it down step by step. Inside the hide and show group, we have a couple of user interface nodes, a button and a drop down. This UI button node represents a button on the user interface. When clicked, it triggers an action. We have a UI dropdown node. It provides a section of options for the user. In this case, it allowed the user to choose between show and hide. The button node is connected to the dropdown node, indicating that clicking the button will trigger an action on the dropdown node. Now, let's take a look on the switch node. It, it receives the output from the dropdown node and performs a check based on the selected option. If the selected option is show, the switch node will direct the flow to the true output. On the other hand, if the selected option is hide, the follow will be directed to false output. Depending on the output of the switch node, one of the two changes node will be activated. If the show option is selected, the flow will reach this change node. Its purpose is to modify the message payload to indicate a JSON object and that specifies which group should be shown. Similarly, if the hide option is selected, the flow will reach this change node. It modifies the message payload to include a JSON object that specifies which group should be hidden. Finally, we have the UI control node which is responsible for updating the user interface based on the changes made in the flow and that's the entire flow with this setup when the user clicks the button the drop down provides the option to show or hide a specific group on the user interface the ui control node that take care of updating the interface accordingly i hope you found this example useful if you have any questions or further assistance please let us in the comments below don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more node tutorials thanks for watching and happy coding bye